So Moshe really, really was food for thought. It was something to think about. Moshe goes like this. It was a little nest, a coop of chickens. You know, in Iran, you want to run? And they raise chickens over there. And near the mountain, a whole bunch of chickens over there. And chicken coop. Up on top of the mountain, and on the mountain, all the way up on top, is a nest of eagles. That's the eagles. Now the chickens know good and well, you've got to watch out for those eagles. These eagles, they can snatch away a chicken, they can snatch away a goat also. You can drop goat. <laughs> and that is the big. What happened was one day there was a storm, a massive storm, and the whole shooting coop turned over. All the eggs were rolling down the hill. And the mother, the hen, and the rooster, they saw the chickens go. And all the way from the top of the mountain, one of the eggs of the eagle came flying down into a haystack. It didn't crack. And after the storm was over, the rooster and the hen went gathering all the eggs. And they saw there's an egg too. It looked a little bigger than theirs, but so what? Must be one of ours, and they put everything into the into the chicken coop. Everything was back to normal. And they were sitting on the chickens, on the eggs. They began to hatch. This bigger one wasn't hatching. But after two weeks later, it hatched. Now came weird-looking chicken. Very weird-looking. Didn't look at all like them, but it was a chicken, and. They taught him he would walk out like everybody else, pecking, taking the little, little grains like everybody else. And the father, chicken, the rooster said, my kids, I want you to know, don't you wander around by daytime, because that's when the eagles fly, and they'll snatch you away. And nighttime is the time that you can hear out a little, but they go to sleep at nighttime. During the daytime, they're awake, you gotta watch out. And sure enough, this little baby chicken, eagle-like looking, started growing bigger and bigger. And he's walking and pecking like everybody else. And one day, his wings started getting bigger and bigger. And he tells everybody he walks with him. And he's so strange looking. They say, yeah, you don't look like us, but you know, you are us. You're our brother. And uh, come on, kid brother, just behave and do what everybody else does. He started walking outside and he just couldn't control himself. His wings started spreading and he flapped his wings up. He flapped that wing and he flew up 50 feet. He got scared out of his wings. I almost came close to the eagles. Came back down and told you tell Dr. what I did. And sure enough, he said, like, how did you do it? I know I flapped my wings and I just flew up. Two days later, growing bigger, he's massive now. And look at him, he's, you know, you're almost not fitting in with us. You're really growing fast. And the next day, he flapped his wings, and Kalkanesha means when they flap the wings, they really fly high. And he came up all the way, and he landed right on top of the mountain, face to face with a whole bunch of eagles. And they're looking at him, who are you? I don't know, excuse me, I'm, I'm a chicken, but, uh, how did you get up here? I don't know. You look just like us. You know what? You stay here for a while. We think you're one of us. No, no, no. I'm not supposed to be around here. No, don't worry. Stay over here. We're not going to hurt you. A few days later, the mother of the says, It's getting cold around here. We're supposed to go to the warm place. We're going away from Iran. We're going to Elat now. He goes, I want to go there. And, Sure enough, he says, well, you're going to leave me over here? How could you do this to me? I can't go back down. My father's going to punish me down there for coming up to you guys. No, 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 you come with us. I can't come. I'm a chicken. You may be chicken, but you have the ability to do what an eagle can do. I can tell on you. And all of a sudden, they all start to fly, and he's looking, and he's pondering. Oh, one sec, what do I do? And he flaps his wings. And all of a sudden he starts flying. And he's looking at them and he says, hey, I'm just like you. 
I'm no chicken. I thought I was a chicken all along. And he realized when he flapped that wing, he's an eagle. He's not a chicken. That's the story with every one of us, Moshe We're swept in Golos over here. There's a big storm. We got mixed up amongst all the Goyim. And here, we're afraid. We have mixed amongst the Goyim. We look at the Goyish interests. We look what they have. Their movies, their internet, their cell, their what? Sometimes it comes to a person ruffles his wings and he gives a shake and he finishes in the Sekhla's Boba Kama and all of a sudden he flies up and then he forgets himself for a moment and he says, one second, my chicken or my eagle, how can I do this? And then he has his dear friends that tell him, you're an eagle! You can do it! And all of a sudden, he ponder, can I? Can I not? Maybe I'm different, what? You flap your wing, and when you flap your wing, you fly high, and then you find out that you're not a little chicken, you're an eagle. You have the koichis in you that you can strive, and you can fly high, you can finish Masechta's Baba Kama, you can finish Masechta's Baba Basha, you can go on from Masechta to Masechta till you finish all of Shas. And one day this whole room is going to be very small, we're going to need a bigger mismanage. And we're sure that Ura is going to go ahead and supply even a bigger mismanage for this affair. It's going to become like a chasana, we have to Hashem. Remember, Moshe, and we shall all remember, the Aaron, what are we? We're little chickens, we're a bunch of eagles. All we got to do is flap that wing. You go into yeshiva, get into it, give it a strike. And you'll see that we have the genes of Avram, Yitzhak, and Yaakov in us. We don't have the traits of a chicken. We have the traits of the Ovis HaKdoshim in us. And we can all reach such tremendous, tremendous heights. Moshe, today you made a Kiddush Hashem. We're looking over here. There's a small ceiling over here. It's a low ceiling. Believe me, up in Shemayim, I can see, I can visualize Malachim dancing around the Kisah cover that the Boyan Shalom was saying, did you ever expect this from Moishi Menshikov? But I'll tell you, Rabbi Isa, I did. You know what? I'll tell you. Moishi may not be happy I'm saying it, but I'll say it anyway, because it's all good. <coughs> About a few years ago, the Shmer Gedacht, as they say in Yiddish, Moishi ran into a little, little friction the yeshiva, nah. and, <laughs> and the yeshiva said, Moshe, you come, you can come to yeshiva, when you're living in Lakewood, you're just going to have to come. And Moshe told me, ha, they think they got me. They think I'm not going to come from Lakewood. I'll be here every single day. If I have to get up at 4 o'clock, or if I have to get up at 5 o'clock, I'll be here. They think that they're going to alienate me that way. It's not going to work. And when she came every day, and sometimes the principal would walk along, what is it that this Moishi got? He's got the willpower. He's got the Menshikov power. There's something there. I can see it iron on you. I can see it. There's something. I can see the brother. There's something there. What? Abram. I can see it over there. I thought the genes from Abram is a gap. That's what we're talking about. I can see it. You've got something that is unusual. And if you use it in the right way, you can take it and fly high. Take this. Make this Kiddush Hashem again and again. Because this is what's going to bring Mashiach to the to us. Maybe we all be Zaychem Yet Hashem to the Gula Shalema, the Peir of your main or our main, a Mazel Tov to all of you, all of Kali Yisrael, to the Rabbi Nishlein for this great Nachasra. Thank you, Benjamin.